Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Jimmis here and today we are going to be setting up the new Apple Watch 2. So we're going to begin by uh, booting up the Apple Watch itself and uh, I just got this watch so I don't know how much charging I have but uh, it seems like it has some charge in it. So let's go ahead and pair this up first and I'm going to charge it later on. So uh, all you need to pair this up is basically the pre-installed pre Apple Watch app on your iPhone and uh, well that's pretty much about it. Um, so let's go ahead and let this boot up and uh, we'll skip to the video when it starts up. Alright, so as we can see the watch has started up and it's showing me different languages that I want to set it up on. So I can go ahead and scroll using the, the button on the side. I don't know what it's called. So let's go ahead and select English and set the language to English on Apple Watch. Yes. And uh, it's going to ask me to choose a region. Let me go ahead and choose uh, United States. This dial is actually really, really smooth to use. United States. So it's loading. All right, um, so it's saying that open the Apple Watch app on your iPhone and tap start pairing. So I already have that opened up. So as you can see, it has an option for start pairing. So I'm gonna keep the watch uh, underneath and click on start pairing and hold the Apple Watch up to the camera. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so it says your Apple Watch is paired. Well, that was pretty easy. Uh, let's go ahead and click on set up Apple Watch. So it's asking me the wrist preference. I usually wear my watch on my left wrist. So let's go ahead and select left. All right, so it's just asking me the usual terms and conditions. Let's go ahead and say yes. So I entered my Apple ID and it's verifying the Apple ID. All right, so, the, so now the watch is giving me options for root tracking. I'm gonna enable root tracking. I'm gonna, well, not send the diagnostics right away and I'm gonna click OK on the shared settings. All right, um, so it's asking me to create a passcode. Um, I don't really want to create a passcode, so I'm gonna click on don't add passcode and uh, it's asking me to set up activity. Let's go ahead and set up the activity. So it's asking me all the details. Uh, let me go ahead and set that up. So basically now it's asking me to select a daily move goal. I'm just gonna select whatever um, there is, emergency SOS. I'm gonna click on continue. I install available apps. Uh, let's go ahead and install all. And uh, that's it. So now the Apple Watch is syncing. Uh, you can see the progress on the watch and the screen itself. So I'm gonna let it do that and we'll be back in a second. All right, so the watch is all set up and ready to go. So as you can see, um, it starts off with the normal watch face, whatever the default is, I guess. Um, and so here, if I press this, you can see all my apps that uh, I have on my uh, phone that work with this already installed. So let's go ahead into another app. Let's try going into, let's try going into home. And so here we are at home and it's gonna pull up all the devices that I have. So it's saying no accessories responding, which is uh, kind of weird. But um, yeah, all right, so um, as you can see, my accessories are responding again and uh, I can turn them off or I can turn them on. As you can see, the light turns on and off um, and so on. So uh, pretty simple to use. I really like this dial. This dial is really, really easy to use. I still need to get used to this entire interface, but uh, yeah, it shouldn't take very long and uh, shouldn't be too bad. All right, so stay tuned for the update. I'm gonna post a review on this as well. So, uh, you know, give me like two or three days to test it out and I can give you my hands on. All right, so thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.